Hi everybody, this video will demonstrate how to create a built executable from a uh, Unity 2D game. Previous videos we've created all of the assets and even our start and end game screens and we're ready to build. So the first thing we want to make sure we do is always save our project before we build anything. And then we're going to come into the build settings, so file build settings. In the build settings previously we've set up our scenes and uh, when we set up our start screen and all of our other UI elements. We've set it up so buttons will move us to our different scenes. But the main thing we want to make sure is that the game start scene is up at the top. So that way when the game starts, it starts with our start screen. And then we can move to the rest. I've just simply ordered my scenes, my game start scenes first at the top, and then my controls credits, and then my sample scene, which is my uh, main level, and then my game over scene. If you don't have a scene in here, you can go to your scenes folder, select the scene, open that scene up, and then add open scenes. So I just have four scenes that we're adding. All right, in the build settings, I'm going to build this platform for the PC, Mac, Linux, Linux standalone. You can choose one of the other ones and run through the other settings there. Um, so this is a targeted Windows platform. We can change some of these other basic settings. I'm going to go to the player settings here. <coughs> Talk about a couple of specific things here. The resolution, if you wanted to make sure this is windowed, uh, you can change it underneath the resolution. There's the full screen. We're going to leave it as full screen right now. There are plenty of other settings. One thing I am going to change is the product name, and this is the name of the standalone executable file. So we will title this one Platform Mania. It's going to be the name of this. Version 1. Okay, version 1.0. Uh, if I have a company name, I'm just going to put my name in here uh, for the name of the company name. But the product name is really the important one. That's the name of the app, individual application standalone file. All right, so we'll close that back out. So once again, that was in the player settings. And you can play with around any of the other settings that you might have in here. And then we're going to click on build. And build is going to tell us that we need to save this to a new folder. Here is my project folder where all my Unity files are in. I'm going to go one up of that. And I'm going to put it outside of my individual project folder. And we're going to create a new folder. And we'll call this one Platform Mania. Platformer Mania. And uh, we'll say final build uh, v for version 1.0. So that way you know this is version 1. As you go make other refinements or new versions, you can call it version 2, version 3, or 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.2. But that way we are ensured we know which version this is. Make sure that folder is selected and then click select folder. Now it's going to run through the whole build process of packaging out all of the necessary information to run this and to build that standalone executable file. This may take a little time, this shouldn't take too much time for this project, but this may take a little time so let it run and complete that project and when it's finished it should open up the folder location of that project and show you where that executable is. So if we go back up one, here's the folder that I just created and built my project to. If I open that up, there's my platform mania. I actually call it platform mania instead of platformer. But platform mania application is the individual file that I'll open to run my game. But there's a whole bunch of other subset folders and files that are necessary for that standalone application to run. So wherever you want to send this file to to open up and run this game, all of these other files need to be sent to as well. And we would do that by zipping the folder. So let's go play the game first, and then we'll come back and talk about zipping the folder. So if I double click on that standalone application, it should load the game. And the first thing I should show up is my start screen. So there, that runs properly. Let's go to our controls credits first. There's our controls and credits. Go back to start screen. Now I can play the game and run around and perform my actions of how I wanted to. Uh, play the game here, jump over my uh, position there, and I can end my game if I want to. I don't think I actually added the end game to this, but let's back out, see if I added the end game to the health here. Nope, that was just the respawn. So I think my end game is actually when I die three times here. So there's three deaths, so I have one life left, let's see if our end goal work here. One, two, three. There it goes. So there's our game over. 
we have the option to play again. All right. We can close that application out. So here's our folder with all of our other subfiles, and then the Platform Mania is our individual application file. So to send this to someone else in order to play your game, we don't need the entire Unity project folder that we're using to develop the project with and edit the project. We just need this final build folder. So to send this out, I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to choose send to compressed zip folder. And I'm just zipping the final build folder. I'm not zipping the whole Unity project. Hit enter. So now I can send this to someone else to play my game without having to have Unity set up. It's a standalone application, but the subfolders are necessary. So this zip the entire folder of that build project. All right, that wraps up this video on how to build a Unity game and then how to even send that for someone else to play.